Hello, David here, and the project for today is replacing a drain in the sink. I'm going to be putting in one of these drain assemblies with a pop-up assembly for the stopper. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's leaking. And I'll show you where it's leaking. It's leaking underneath, right down here. Right here, there's a pivot. There's a ball socket in here with a pivot for the stopper. And this cap is cracked and it's leaking through the crack. And uh, it's pretty easy to get a replacement cap. They're available. However, this is a non-standard thread size. They no longer make it in this size. I don't know how old it is, but the newer sizes are larger. Therefore, I had to buy a whole new drain. So that was kind of First we're going to remove the drain. Okay, let's disconnect the stopper. Take this cap off. This is what that ball socket looks like. kind of corroded and grooved anyway so I don't know if it's going to hold water or not so I think it's best to replace it anyway. Next got your channel locks. Have a towel ready just in case it leaks because we're going to undo this joint right down here. And we're going to undo this joint up here. There's a large nut. The pipe is turning with the nut, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down here and tighten this again. Just to hold this stationary. Okay, let's try that again. Nope, still wants to turn. I'm going to have to get another wrench. Okay, I'm going to get this wrench on here. Get the wrench up on this nut. Give it a turn. That did the trick. down here and loosen this one. Okay, it's good to check this gooseneck because if you have a metal one, sometimes these rust out down here and start leaking. It's not a problem with the plastic ones, but it's problem with the metal ones. If I get enough clearance to get this out without taking out the gooseneck.
You know, I'm thinking, how am I going to get this out with this little nub in the way? I'm going to have to turn this off. I'm going to have to break this joint. <clears throat> Does that mean I have to tighten this? Yeah, let's go back and tighten this. So I'm going to tighten this top piece so that I can break this, this bottom piece loose right at that joint. Look at that, and that thing just broke off while I was turning it. How about that? That will make them like they used to. There we go. And there's some goop in there too. Look down there. Yuck. Can see on top. Still have this metal piece up here. So we'll clean it out really good. Now we'll insert the new piece. Here's a new drain. Here's the old drain. And here's the difference between the thread sizes. See that? Well, let me line it up. Okay, there we go. It's not a lot, but makes a bit big difference as to fitting a new cap on the end of that. Okay, I'm gonna put these two pieces together, but I gotta wrap some Teflon tape around this end. And you want the trailing edge to be on the top, not the bottom. So it's going to twist in this way. The trailing edge has to be on top like that. It's going to wind this around so I can measure a piece. Cut it right about there. Let's use the sharp side. That would work better. And pull it tight. Press it in. Pull off the excess. Thread it in there. Get it tight. Okay, let's remove this flange. We can leave the gasket, the washer, and the nut on that piece. I think I'm going to put a little bit of Teflon tape on here. And then we have to use some plumber's putty. The plumber's putty will make a seal around this flange to the opening and the sink. Okay, now for underneath you want to tighten up this nut. And we want to do it in such a manner that this receptacle for the ball socket points to the back. It's got to point to this that pull-up rod like that.
Yeah, when you get that good and snug, let's take this cap off of here. And put the stem back in. Let's put the cap over the end first. Oh, we had a little problem. This pipe isn't long enough, so I just went to the hardware store. I got one that's a little longer. Gosh, it looks like I'm going to have to trim off about uh, a quarter of an inch. Well, I'll try it out for size. Was well, there? I also got some washers too. To uh, uh, just because those old washers are real old. I've got everything tightened down and it looks like there's some water seeping through this corrosion spot on the side of the gooseneck. So I'm going to put another gooseneck on it and see if that fixes the problem. It's back to the hardware store. Back from the hardware store with a new gooseneck. Tighten these up. Got the water running, we're checking for leaks. Everything's pretty dry. Look at the top side. Check the stopper. That's working awesome. I like it when things finally work out. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends.